What's going on, guys? Welcome to Stock Talk with Eco Criticos. Today, we're going to be talking about Tesla stock, and we're going to see what's going on with the company, as well as where do I see the stock going. So right now, the stock is up 20% today. It's trading at $259 a share, and this is a $828 billion company. Okay, So I sold most of my shares. If we go down here, we can see that I sold 25 shares about a month ago, I sold 25 shares at $260. I sold another five at 254. And then I sold another five at 258. So pretty much about 35 shares, roughly in this price range, right? Right around 260. Um, because when I was looking at the valuation, looking at the P ratios and stuff, it just looked like it was trading at such a rich valuation that I knew it wasn't gonna sustain those prices for long. Now, with what came out this last week, with as far as the robots, the robo taxi, the thirty thousand dollar vehicle, um, the margins improving, improving all this stuff, now maybe two hundred and sixty dollars is a more justified valuation for the stock. But with that being said, I still would bet that this stock is going to come down to still somewhere closer to two hundred dollars because even with not only has Elon Musk been not very accurate with his predictions for how long it takes a product to come out or to ramp. It's not only that, but it's also how long does it take for it to actually start making money for the company? And while these products are ramping or while they're building these different you know ideas and stuff, the stock is going to be volatile. So even though let's say the vehicle comes out next year, let's say the robots come out in a year or two, and let's say the robo taxi network thing comes out in a year or two, it's going to face a lot of challenges along the way. And when, especially when you have a stock that's trading at 80 times earnings, if we look at the earnings now, it's, you know, it's the stock is not trading cheap right now. It's going to be super volatile, which means it's going to drop just like how it went up 20% today. It's going to drop 20% in a day when some really bad news comes out or they, you know, they're the, Elon Musk makes a forecast that it's, they're going to delay the release of it in six months or, Maybe there's a law that gets in the way or something like that. So when those things happen, this stock is going to, it's going to plummet, right? And then at that point, if this stock is trading at, you know, like for a while, it was trading at this $170, $180 mark. I would say that's a, that's a justified price to where you could invest in the company. But when we're talking, when it's $230, $260 a share at those, at that price range, I think it's, it's not worth buying. I think best that's that's what the the sentiment being very optimistic. And so may like best case scenario, it'll sustain those prices. So best case scenario, it'll stay at this price, right? Maybe for a couple months. Um, but the more likely scenario is that it's gonna be volatile and it's gonna drop back down to let's say 215 or something like that, right? It'll come back down to 215 and then it'll spend a couple months bouncing around 215. And then maybe in you know sometime in 2025 it 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 goes back up and we see it hit 270 and 290 and all that stuff. Um, but for the time being, even though all this this these new products and stuff coming out, I think this is going to add a lot to the company, which we're going to get into this in a minute um, because I was comparing it to Uber. So Uber takes so another thing is right here it says Uber stock is down a little bit today after Elon Musk says that the cyber cab is being tested on San Francisco streets. So Uber takes 25% of the revenue for the rides and the driver gets 75%. Now, with these robo taxis, there's no driver, right? So the margins are going to be way higher. But with that being said, let's look at this real quick. I believe the amount that so okay, let's let's go down here. So the margins for this for this business, last year Uber had a profit margin of 5%. Then over the last 10 years, this company loses a lot of money on a lot of years, right? Negative 29, negative 60%, okay? Now, again, um, I believe it's about, it's about half of Uber's revenue is being paid out to drivers, okay? So last year, they did 40 billion, almost $40 billion of revenue, all right? So another thing I researched was what is the market share? In the United States, Uber has 75% market share roughly, and Lyft has 25%. So as Tesla ramps over the next couple of years, let's say, let's say this, let's let's say we're let's say we're gonna be optimistic and the the 
robo taxi network is making Tesla money sometime in 2025, sometime next year. Well, what is a what's a realistic market share? Maybe they start out with a couple percent. Maybe they work their way up. They steal some market share from Uber or Lyft. There's no driver, so it's going to be cheaper. Um, you know, it's going to be something cool that a lot of people want to try. And if it's cheaper, that's going to pull in a lot of business, right? So let's say they work up to 20% market share, 30% market share, something like that. And then we have, you know, those three companies, um, those three companies splitting the market share. And then eventually five years from now, maybe Uber does have 50% or not, not, I'm sorry, not Uber, maybe Tesla, maybe Tesla has 50% market share or some huge number, right? That's, that's a possibility, but years down the road. With that being said, that means well, we're talking for the next two or three years. That means that Tesla is going to have roughly $20 billion of revenue, okay? Because right now, Right now, Uber has 75%. So let's say they split it up. Let's say let's say Tesla in two years from now, they work up and they got 25% market share or 30% market share. Okay, well then Tesla's probably gonna be doing $20 billion. This is like two years from now. $20 billion of revenue from the RoboTaxi network, okay? Well, if we look at the margin, now again, Uber's, Uber's margin has been very low, negative 60% multiple years. Last year, Uber is a huge company, right? They have this is a company with seventy five percent market share in a huge industry. Okay, and this company is worth one hundred and sixty seven billion dollars, and the and their profit margin was only their profit margin was only five percent. Okay, now you know they have Uber Eats and they have different parts of the business that may be losing them more money and not as profitable as the rides. But the point is, their main business is the rides, and their profit margins are not very good. Okay. But let's say Tesla is doing roughly $20 billion in revenue, and their margins are going to be higher, okay? Because if Uber spent roughly half of their revenue on the drivers, that means that's how much money that Tesla's pretty much going to save. It's still going to, it's, it's still going to cost money to charge the Tesla, and there's going to be other expenses. But the point is, the margins are going to be a lot better, and they'll probably be, you know... Maybe it's twelve percent, something like that, right? Let's say it's let's say it's somewhere around twelve percent margin for Robo Taxi Network. Okay, so then we're looking at off of twenty billion of revenue, we're looking at a little bit over two billion dollars of net income added to the bottom line in the next couple of years, two years from now, for Tesla's Robo Taxi business. Okay, and that's good. That's 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 a that's a you know two billion dollars is not a small amount of money, um, but this is also we're talking about Tesla is going to be you know. Tesla's a giant company right now. They're trading at over eight hundred billion dollars. So their their net income last year was fifteen billion. Okay, and the, the earnings are expected to go up. So maybe they do seventeen billion, you know, eighteen billion, something like that. Okay, so if you add on the Robo Taxi Network, now we're sitting at, you know, nineteen or twenty billion. Right, we're sitting at twenty billion dollars. Um, roughly two years from now. Now that doesn't factor in any robots. Who knows? The robots is very hard to value because we don't. What we don't have any company on a mass scale selling robots like Tesla, so that's very hard. We don't know how much money that's going to bring in. He says they're going to cost what um, twenty or thirty thousand dollars or something. Who we don't know how that's going to sell. We don't know what the margins are like, anything like that. Um, so that one's hard to value. But the robo taxi business is the exciting one. This is the one where you know the, the market is huge, and I mean. <laughs> My main problem with this is just, okay, so the, right now the stock's at $260. If we look at what they're expected to do for earnings next year, we are looking at $3 of EPS, okay? $3 of EPS for a $260 stock. $260 divided by three is 86. So this company is now trading at 86 times earnings for next year. That's, that's insane. If we look at the last couple of years for this stock, we can see that it's traded as in bad times, pessimistic times, it'll trade as low as a 34, okay? 34 times earnings. In optimistic times, not only optimistic, but also the company has to be putting up good numbers and has to be growing, which now they're saying that the growth should go from 15% to 25 or 30% or something. So, okay, the growth goes up, right? So the growth is strong trades at roughly 80 to 85 times earnings. Okay. 2021 does not count. 2021 was ridiculous. That's when the stock jumped up a thousand percent and the stock was trading at, you know, 
200 times earnings. So we're not going to pay attention to that. The consistent, the consistency starts in the middle of 2022 when it was trading at 81 times earnings and it even reached that number again. Okay. It reached that number again. Right now we're at 86. Right now we're really at the at the peak of things here. That's why, again, this stock is going to come down. The stock's going to come down to 220 or even 200 probably. And in that case, if if you can buy the stock for 40 or 50 times earnings, then it makes sense as an investment. But paying 85 times earnings is not worth an investment because it's not going to stay at that price. So really what we want to do is if they're doing $3 at EPS next year, I would not, I, I wouldn't want to, I mean, see, this is a tough one because really that means you want to buy the stock at about $150. $150 is, that would be a really big drop if that happened. Um, but I just don't see this company trading at 85 times earnings consistently, Espe especially when they're only expected to do this year. There's practically no growth. Next, maybe it's a little bit more. Let's say they do $3.50 of EPS, right? All right. So now maybe $175 is a good $175 is a good price to buy the stock at. That's what I would leave this at. I would leave it at if you can get it at about $175, then it, it's a good investment. Um, but if you if you're paying even 70 times earnings, this is this is on a forward basis too. This isn't even for this year. If you're paying 240, 250, I say that's overvalued. So I would, you know. If, just to be on the, the right side of things and limit your, you want there to be a, a more upside than downside, right? In my opinion, that's a good price. A fair price is 175. I don't think we're going to see it come down to a hundred. I really don't think that's going to happen. Um, but Tesla has proven to be extremely volatile in the past. And how I said, especially when they're coming out with new products and stuff and profitability is all over the place. Who knows? Maybe the stock does go to a hundred dollars, but what's realistic is that, we see this stock drop to 170 180 dollars a share okay um maybe it takes it maybe it's a couple months from now but we're going i i think we're going to see the stock come to 170 180 dollars a share and at that point then it would be a good time to invest but other than that that's where i'm going to leave this um i'm bearish i'm very bullish on tesla as a company long term i just I'm not willing to pay 70 or 80 times earnings uh, investment uh, for an, on an investment basis. It doesn't make sense. I love the company and Elon Musk, but if you're trying to make money with the stock, it's not going to happen if you're paying 70 times earnings. So that's where I'm going to leave this.